Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy and I'm here to do your reading for February 2018 for Love and Relationships. This is a general reading so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal reading you can contact me for that as well. And also check your moon and rising sign. I um, just want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, this month I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot and that is by Kim Kranz. Also I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And I'm also going to be pulling you an additional advice card. And that is from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland. Okay, so I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, Virgo. We're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, I do want to say this is a relationship reading. How this works is the side over here will represent your energy, Virgo. And this other side here will represent the other person. Now by other person, that could be your spouse, partner, um, girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other. If you're not in a relationship at this time, it could um, represent your ex-partner or somebody you're talking to or someone you've just met. Um, basically, it's the person, whoever you're thinking of while you're watching this video, that's going to represent the other person. Okay. And then we'll have a couple cards here at the end for the outcome of the situation and um, future advice. All right. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. At the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you have the two of wands. Okay, so I'm feeling um, you're at a crossroads in your life and in relationships. There's a decision that needs to be made, or perhaps you've already made it, but you need to act upon it, okay? So with the two of wands, um, you're thinking about your future. You're thinking about where you want this relationship to go. And you haven't quite set that into action yet. You're, you're kind of just thinking about it right now and making sure that it's going where you want it to go. Okay. <clears throat> you also have the Son of Swords in the reverse and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Now with the Son of Swords in reverse... You may be dealing with an air sign individual. Um, that could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm sorry. Um, air sign would be um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I apologize. Okay. It doesn't have to be an air sign. It could just be somebody that has air sign qualities. But the Son of Swords in reverse is somebody that um, is very unpredictable and very unreliable, okay? So they act very quickly. Um, they're very smart. They're very intelligent. But um, they often have trouble making up their mind or they can act impulsively and um, recklessly, okay? The Seven of Cups in reverse tells me that you have a lot of choices when it comes to your love life. Um, but you're very, very confused right now, Virgo. You really don't know which choice is the right one. Okay. So again, you're kind of at that crossroads, trying to make a plan for your future, trying to figure things out. But there is a lot of confusion here. Um, with this Seven of Cups reversed, okay? All right, so we're gonna see what else we have for you. Your first card represents your energy, Virgo. And I know this looks a little scary. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this is my anxiety card. I feel like you're very anxious right now. 
Um, you're worried about that decision you have to make. You go back and forth about it. You can't sleep at night. Um, you may be having insomnia. <clears throat> you may be having nightmares, bad dreams. Very, very anxious. Um, this card in the upright is, is very, very difficult. There's a lot going on here. Um, and when I see this card, it tells me that you are thinking the worst. So whatever the situation is, you are thinking that the worst case scenario, that's what you're thinking. And with it being in reverse, you can even be paranoid. Um, you can feel like maybe people are stalking you or watching you or trying to trap you into something. Um, there's just a lot going on here. A lot of mental anguish. Okay. Now, the other person, their energy is the nine of cups in reverse. So you both have nines, which is very interesting. Um, I feel like with the two nines here, something is about to come to an end. Or perhaps it's already ended, you're just not following through with the, the motions of it. Okay. The Nine of Cups in Reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this person is very, very greedy. Okay. They may have everything they want in life, but it's never, it never makes them happy. It's never enough. Okay. They could perhaps be very materialistic, um, very focused on, you know, what, what can I acquire for myself? And again, that never makes them happy with, with any type of, um, cup card in reverse, they're overly emotional. Okay. And they may be using their emotions to manipulate you. Um, they may be able to, you know, cry a lot and make you feel bad about the situation. But I feel like there's a lot of emotions going on here and, and none of them are any good. They're very manipulating. Okay. <clears throat> Next card you have represents your emotions Virgo and you have the four of Pentacles in reverse so I'm sensing <clears throat> I'm sensing Virgo that you're very you're holding on to your emotions you're afraid of losing something here now with the Pentacles this can be money you can be afraid of perhaps a divorce settlement um, something involved with money. You could be maybe losing your home or, um, even a job. I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, but again, there's a sense of paranoia that we had with the nine of swords in reverse that you have a fear of losing what you've worked so hard for. Okay. Um, it can be, if you are in a relationship, it can be you're afraid of losing this person because they make you feel secure. Um, even though things may not be stable right now, you're still afraid of losing them. Um, for others of you, you can be just holding on to your emotions and not expressing how you really feel in the situation. Okay. But the four is a card of stagnation. So you're not, you're not moving forward, whatever it is that you're, you're restricting yourself. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Next card you have Virgo represents the other person's emotions and they have the Empress in reverse. Now, a couple of things about this. Um, for a very select few of you, the Empress in reverse can mean an unwanted pregnancy. Okay, your partner may be pregnant. 
may not be yours, uh, may not be planned. It may be, may have come at a very difficult time in your relationship. Um, money could be a factor, but I do feel for some of you, this is an unplanned pregnancy. Um, for others of you, I feel like you're, this person is extremely over emotional. Again, we saw that with the nine of cups in reverse. Um, they may be, if there's children involved, they may be using the children as leverage in the relationship, trying to get whatever it is they want, um, somehow manipulating you with the children. Okay. For some of you, this can be a custody battle. Um, but this definitely involves children or pregnancy. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now your last card is going to be the potential outcome for the month of February. All right. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. This is a great card. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, the relationship has ended and you are trying to make that decision to move forward in life. The Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning for you. Okay. The universe is offering you something brand new. This is a new start, a new beginning, a clean slate. Um, this can be a new relationship with somebody totally different than you've ever, um, you know, dated before. And it can be kind of scary because, um, you know, I feel like for a lot of you, you're still hurting from your past. Now, I'm also sensing that this can also be a new job for some of you, perhaps a promotion or a raise of some kind. Whatever it is that this, the universe is offering you something brand new. It's very stable. It's very secure. Um, it's totally different than any of these cards we've seen. And if you notice, <clears throat> all of your cards besides this one were reversed. When we have a lot of reversals in a reading, it indicates that you're holding on to unforgiveness. And that can be against, you know, somebody else, or that can be not forgiving yourself. So that's something you need to let go of in order for this new beginning to start. Okay. Let's see what your romance angels cards say. <clears throat> okay. You got children and very soon. So your love life is being affected by children. And this one says clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. So I definitely feel a lot of you, there are children involved in this situation. And maybe that is why you're having a hard time moving on. Um, you, you perhaps have children with your partner or ex, soon to be ex-partner. And that may be why you're struggling with the making the decision to leave or to separate or divorce because of the children. For some of you, there may be a, um, a pregnancy that was not planned. Okay. <clears throat> now with this Ace of Pentacles here. This is telling you, Virgo, you need to decide what it is that you want because the universe is offering it to you, okay? If you want a new relationship, it's here, okay? Um, if it's that new job or new career that you want, it's here, it's coming to you, okay? So manifest it, clearly picture it in your head and decide exactly how you want that relationship or that job or whatever it is, decide exactly how you want that to be. And, um, it's going to, it's going to happen for you very soon. I'm feeling like for many of you, this is definitely going to be within the next year. All right. So I'm going to pull an additional advice card for you, Virgo. 
and we're going to see what advice we have for you for the month of February. I'm just going to shuffle these cards real quickly. So the card you have, Virgo, is number 12, and it's called Observe. I'm going to grab the guidebook here. We're going to see what that says for you. The keywords here are release, surrender, patience, cycles, and perspective. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observe. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. How is it making you feel? What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. What is your intuition telling you? Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey, and let go of the outcome. Now is the time for patience. All things come to you in the appropriate time and cycle. Progress in a current relationship or finding a new relationship will happen when the time and energies are right. When you're open and receptive to the needed change, it will happen. During the process of simply observing, you can also gain a new perspective on your situation. How might you think differently about it? Look at your relationship through the eyes of an impartial stranger. What insights might that stranger offer you? Listen to the observations with an open mind and heart. By taking a fresh look, you'll bring in energies of awareness and transformation. And there's a little affirmation here for you. It says, I now take a step back and observe my situation in a new light. Okay. So that's very interesting. I feel like you've been so consumed, Virgo, with anxiety and <clears throat> fear that you haven't been able to think straight and you feel like you need to make a decision right now okay this is telling you you do not have to make a decision today or tomorrow or the next day okay um <clears throat> with this two of wands here you are being led in a new direction okay you can see how these two wands kind of come together to a point here I feel like you're being guided in a new direction and you know where that direction is. Trust your intuition and let it guide you there. Okay. This Ace of Pentacles is waiting for you, but that doesn't mean you have to rush it. If you're not ready for a new relationship, you're not ready. Um, if you're not ready to move into that new uh, position or new job, then you're not ready, but you'll know when you are. Okay. So there's your reading Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read all of your comments. And, um, if you have any questions, you can ask me that as well. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in March.